So multi-omic genomic technologies are a very exciting new area of genomics, um, especially as these technologies are being developed at the single cell resolution with sequencing based assays. Um, they can impact both our understanding of the tumor cells, uh, as well as cell types in the microenvironment. In the tumor cells, it's exciting because we can really start to connect at, at single cell resolution, um, the genomic insults that occur in cancer, such as mutations and chromosomal changes and aberrations, and understand how they ultimately impact signaling and the transcriptome, uh, and then the proteome, and then finally the output of the cell, which is its phenotype in terms of things like cell proliferation and resistance and invasion. Um, these techniques are also very exciting, I think, to apply to the microenvironment, both immune and stromal, um, where we can connect uh, maybe not so much the genome, but looking at more the epigenome and the transcriptome to understand those layers of gene regulation and the transcription factors that cause different cell states that have different biological functions uh, that ultimately uh, will suppress or help promote uh, tumor progression. So it's still, I think, uh, kind of the early days of these technologies. There's a lot of technical errors, obstacles to overcome with costs and increasing throughput. But um, I think ultimately uh, we'll be doing lots of single cell multiomic profiling in the future. Um, in a few years, it'll be routine and it'll really uh, give new insights into uh, cancer biology.